Hello guys, this is the Dog Star LP, and welcome back to a Minecraft vanilla episode. Been a long, long time. And this episode is going to be a bit walkie talkie. Um, don't have room in these, do I? Wait, what? Um, I'm gonna talk about my film festival thing, which I promised ages ago. Um, such a long time ago. Uh, guess I'll bring you. Put you back. I'll bring you. Fire aspect two, sharpness three, knockback. Okay. Um, and I'll bring you and you. Okay, so, actually, um, what I want to do is, I want to put all this armor in there, where'd my helmet go? Oh. So what we're going to do is, hold on, we're going to sleep first, okay, we won't, uh, I believe it'd be 3, 9, 18, 27, yeah. We're going to make a full set of iron armor. Oh crap. Oh, shit. Okay. Now we're going to have this full set of iron armor and we're just gonna wander that way and we're gonna do a hardcore style episode uh, actually okay there you go there's my coordinates I'll probably have to comment them or something um, so we're going to go this way and just find somewhere nice uh, we have large biomes on so this should be funny Probably should have brought more ender pearls with me. Oh yeah, I forgot to sleep. Just realising that now. Oh well, makes it more exciting. It's a cave. I keep forgetting I don't have waypoints. So yeah, basically I'm just going to continue this until I die. That is really nice. Oh yeah, I had the MC PvP mod on, so that's why it's like that. Cows, oh my god. I have cows near me. What? I went this way before, didn't I? Yeah, I did. In search for desert temple. Or potatoes. So, go this way. So, we have large biomes on. Oh, yeah, so, uh, fish. Okay, so, yeah, well back November 8th, I believe. Yeah. Okay. November eighth, we um, well, actually, I should probably start with what it was. Uh, we did this movie myself and a friend. Well, it was like a school effort. Myself and a friend were the editors for it. Uh, we were the oldest on the team, other than the one teacher who was organising it. Um, but myself and him, um, we had to edit it. So we used to go down to school. I'd say maybe like three months three months before school ended, something like that. But uh, we'd go down every day and it's basically just no work at all. And um, we had, no, we, it was just editing and discussing ideas and well, it was sort of funny because uh, was it in their sort of like computer room kind of thing. They had these big massive headphones that were really good. It's like what I did was I created a folder in the System 32 which had music and stuff on it and um, then we'd set up YouTube and even on one computer we installed Minecraft um, oops and uh, I'd play that on it sometimes but um, yeah I, we did that and then uh, we entered it into like a Leinster competition and uh, I believe we won that and uh, we got told you know we should 
put this forward to the National Fish Competi Movie Festival competition thingy. And um, we did. Whoa, that's huge. But um, we did that, and then we got told a while back that we got nominated. A shortlist of whatever. And um, we got told November 8th, be there, and they'll be giving out awards and stuff. Now, there was the Aileen McHugh Award, I think, which is like the overall, and then there was his Best History, and ours was the Swing in 60s, so but there were no other history movies. Well, there was one, which was like a raid on a house, I can't remember which, God. Um, but that was the only other one, and that didn't win. We won the Best History. This is coming in handy, this gravel block. But, um,. Yeah, we then won that. Uh, we won the Best History Award. And then, uh, at this stage, like, uh, I think there were 27 awards and there were 27 movies. So we presumed every movie was going to win something. So at this stage, it was just like, ah, we haven't won. Oh, well. And then, um, they called out the Alien McHugh Award, which, again, is the overall. And uh, we had won. Uh, oh, God. But uh, it was in the Helix in Dublin. And um, sort of funny because I was sitting beside an old friend that I had. And we were talking about our pet squids and stuff. <coughs> he is a pet snake called Bob. Hello there, Calvin. If you watch my videos, I doubt you do. Um, right. But, um, yeah, it was like um, a bunch of my friends from first year now, uh, who were in it as well, ended up going. And so, like, we were on the bus and we went to, I think it was Supermax after Oh, that was weird. Went to Supermax afterwards and we got um, burgers and stuff. And that was quite nice. But um, we managed to win. That was really surprising. Um, it was just like uh, myself and the director... Uh, we represented us when we were collecting it. So I was just like, on stage we were celebrating. I was like, yeah! Whoa. Oh, God. And, um... God, it was really surprising though, because we didn't expect to actually win it. Uh, mainly because there were the 27 movies and the 27 awards, we presumed. That it was just going to be rigged so that everybody won something and make everybody go home happy. But nope. Everybody didn't win something. There um, there was, I think, one or two movies didn't win anything. I think it was just one, though. Um, yeah, that was... Uh, God, what was that? I think it was like the Lego car or something. Hey, look, it's a spawner. Oh my god! No way! That was a skeleton spawner. I just destroyed it. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys if you just cringed at me. Pretty stupid. Ah. Probably wouldn't have done anything with it anyway, but still. I've been looking for a skeleton spawner for ages. Okay, here are the chests. Lag much? Oh no, wait, my game froze up really weird. Okay. Um, the hell's going on? Stupid game. Oh, saddles. Lovely. Did I just duplicate a saddle? I did, didn't I? And some iron and more saddles. Where's my jetpack and my turtle? Right. Yeah, the day went on for, I think, like, oh god. 
Go back to hell. Go back to hell with thee. Okay. Uh, I think the ceremony was like six or seven hours. I tweeted a picture from there actually of the stage. But um, yeah, it was I think was the best day I've ever had. And then um, it's really funny though at one point because our teacher was wondering if Minecraft was age appropriate when they saw me blowing up a pink with TNT. Um, but yeah, it was grand. And uh, I believe those kids still play Minecraft on that computer I set it up on. I mean, what's funny as well was we ended up using all like our principal's laptop as well. Because uh, as well, after we did the movie, our principal then thought that we were good at what we did. So he went and said um, we could make, like, uh, it was our last year in that school. So he said we could make the sort of like the graduation ceremony video. So we did, and um, we got to use the principal's computer and everything, going through his documents and things, and then looking at some of the teacher's documents and that. And actually, I have the discography for Afrojack, <laughs> and um, it's sort of funny because um, I uh, like we got to keep it. We got to use a flash drive that they gave us. So on one on one of the flash drives, I copied. Uh, uh, one of the teachers had the entire Afrojack discography for some reason so I copied that off and took it and took it with me and um, so I got uh, I have every single Afrojack song oh my god that's a lot of squid um, hello Jeremy Jeremy hi oh god there's so much water out here yeah, and the graduation ceremony video, we um, we just put like schools out forever and those type of songs in, and um, it was well received. People really did like it. Oh my god, we've large biomes on. I'm in an ocean. Oh my god. Oh god. I am going to kill AJ slowly. Because it was his idea to put on large biomes. Um, actually, what's this F? I presume it's where I'm looking, isn't it? Yeah. God, do you know how many hours this is going to take to cross? Like, when I found my mushroom island... I don't know if I did a video on that or not. I think I did. Um, when I found my mushroom island... I keep trying to mine... I keep thinking I have to mine clay from my cold coke oven. Um, when I did that... Uh, God, sorry. Um, what was I saying? The hell was I saying? Oh yeah, mushroom biome. When I went to the mushroom island, um, it was sort of funny because I went, I used the program Amidst, the mapping tool, to find it, and um, I then started travelling for ages, and I noticed. 20,000 blocks or so was just water before I actually got to the island. And uh, I was then getting terrified because like, this took like two or three hours. And I was getting terrified that it wasn't actually really there. It was there, thankfully. Am I going there again? I don't think so. Oh, land, yes. At least it's not as long as I thought it would be. Actually, music, I like music. Got it on 15, damn it. Okay, here you go. Um, yeah, this week in school as well has been SPHE week, so it's sort of no work week. That's really funny as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, cacti, actually. I need cacti. Because where my new base is going to be. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to make it permanent or not. I mean, I probably won't, but I could. Who knows? I mean... Well, if that was the case, I probably would have... Oh, no, wait, there in my ender chest. I was going to say I probably would have brought my diamonds then. If I was going to settle somewhere permanently on my iron and stuff. But I'd probably end up dying with it all in my inventory. Okay. 
This isn't a fortune, isn't it? It isn't. Damn. Okay. Okay. Oh no, I don't have my boots of the traveler on. <laughs> God, so much FTP. That's a desert temple. No, wait, that's a. Uh, what's it? A well. Now, I believe whenever there's a well, there's something nearby, like a village or something, or a desert temple. So, I mean, I don't see any. Oh no, wait. There's one. Yeah, okay. But I'm using the Hungry Games texture pack, so. Yeah. I guarantee, like, I don't think this has been explored. Has it? How the hell has this been explored? You know what I'm gonna do? I have to do it. I have to. Oh god. Why is there no TNT? Herobrine! <laughs> okay. Wait, there's torches. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, torches. Somebody's been here. And out there. You know, we're gonna follow the torches for a while. Oh god. Then um, I just realized Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, what's sort of funny about that is that lately people have been trying to set each other up. I just heard a skeleton. a reason why I heard them? No. I sort of hoped I found a skeleton spawner, but what's their use now? This is nowhere near the home. Oh god, how do I get out? <laughs> okay, where's the light coming from? That would help. Ah, oh, okay. Which way was I going? I believe it was this way, yeah. Ah, uh, but yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up, so it's like, Adam, why don't you get a girlfriend? <laughs> yes, my friend's talking. <laughs> That's exactly how they talk. Um, okay, so let's follow the torches. You know what? I just realized I'm heading towards zero zero, going this way. And Spawn is in a village, and AJ's in a village. Or AJ's near Spawn. He's in the desert spawn. So this is probably going to lead to him. Isn't it? So. Grass? What? Yeah, that's cool. You just grow on stone. Or dirt that has no grass. That's cool. Yeah, sure, you can do that. You live up to expectations, anyway. Yeah, well, you know what? You know what I'm gonna do to be real mean? There, you're dead. Oh. Karma. Grass? What the hell? Water? Oh my god. Squids! Did I just do an entire loop of this island? I didn't, did I? No. I didn't, right? But yeah, this is gonna be hardcore. I don't know if I'll have like beds or not. I presume I won't, because then I'll. Because if I do, then I won't be able to go back home. So I probably won't have a bed. Oh, okay, it's good. I have enough. 
Oh. Land ahoy. Cave. The reason why I use this texture pack for Hungry Games is because iron ore is red. So it makes it a good bit easier. To spot. What is that? Whose house is that? Is that wit strikes? No, couldn't be, could it? The heck is that? Oh, I think this is Chris's place. Chris is Larostas or Dr. Redstone. Pretty sure it is. Um, I've definitely been over there. Yeah, that's his place. Um, I thought this. I thought this looked like Dutch's design, but I've been to Dutch's base. So. Okay. Hello. This is cool. This is actually pretty cool. I'm wondering where his farms are and stuff, but yeah, this is cool. How the hell do you get in? No, I can't find an entrance. I feel like there's a better way of going about this. get out. Oh, I see. Sorry I just dug on your base, Chris. It's gonna come right down on my face, isn't it? Hopefully down here though. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Forty-five degree angle is the best way to shoot that, and I just f messed it up. Whee. What the hell is this? Is this like Ethos man cave? Or I commented before on how he doesn't have a real house. Hey, that's like my single player LP with the glass above. Does this go down to his actual base? Oh no, it's a quarry. Obviously. Whoa. This is awesome. What is this? And your chest. Random. Wait. Is this? It's a zombie. Sp it's a skeleton spawner. Let's go. Well, where does this go? Ah, yes, indeed. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I see the f f the purpose of this. some stage. Swords? Here's something I want to try. Can I punch them to death? What is this? Oh, I see. Oh, I see the purpose of this. This is smart.
No, let's see. Can I just one shot? Oh, Bob. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to call the episode here. I should probably turn this off. Wait, there's no way to turn it off, is there? No. Okay, yeah, guys, I think I'll call this an episode, and we'll continue on from here next time. Bye-bye.